So Assassin's Creed games used to come out very often, and since there's so many of them, I feel like replayability doesn't play much of a role for most people who play the series. But right now, we're going through a bit of a dry period until the release of Assassin's Creed Red, which we don't know the official name of yet. AC Mirage definitely helped with the long wait, but I think we can all agree that it doesn't fill the long, open-world journey-shaped hole in our hearts. And that's why I've been replaying some of the older games lately, and I thought it would be a fun to discuss which one has the most replay value in my humble and totally not controversial opinion. The only full-fledged game in the series that I didn't play yet is Assassin's Creed Rogue, otherwise all games are up for the comparison. This video is gonna be broken down into categories for each type of game that I believe these games fit in. First of all, let's start because we have a lot to go through, so let's start with the I wouldn't replay again category. And these games are the ones that are by no means bad games, but I wouldn't replay again because I already experienced it and I don't feel like replaying it would add any kind of value to my experience. Starting off with Assassin's Creed 1, I know this might be controversial, but in my opinion, the game is just too old, it doesn't offer too much, it was a technical preview for Assassin's Creed as a whole, it was a gem in its time, I still love it to this day. The first time I played through it, I really enjoyed my time, but I wouldn't say that I would go back to it again. First of all, because it's too janky, and like I said, it's too old. Second of all, the story isn't that interesting once you went through it once, and it just, like I said, doesn't offer too much replay value. Right next to it is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. By no means this game is bad, I know many people enjoy it, but me, myself, I played this game a lot. I put over 100 hours in it, and I did enjoy my time going through it, but I would never, never in my life replay this game. I don't want to play this game any time again, even the gameplay you're seeing right now is old gameplay, there's no way I'm gonna go back to that game. It's just too long and too stretched out and just it wears you thin. After you finish it, you just feel tired. I don't know, maybe just me, but I just really sucked the life out of me. But like I said, it's not a horrible game, I just wouldn't win, wanna play through it again. And right next to Assassin's Creed Valhalla is Assassin's Creed Mirage. I know, this might be a shock, but... Just like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I don't feel like it offers too much replay value, and like Assassin's Creed 1. I went through the story, I enjoyed it, it looked great, it looked fun, it was enjoyable, but there's no endgame grind, except the new game plus thing that I'm not really that interested in, and there's not anything else to do after you finish the story, so I don't see anything coming out of a new playthrough of this game, and that's why I don't think I will go through it again, even though, in my opinion, it's a great game and I loved it, but I wouldn't replay it again. Next up on the list is Assassin's Creed Unity. I know this will put the crosshair on my back, but I really didn't enjoy my time with Unity. I still didn't enjoy it, I have a little bit of story left to finish, but I did not enjoy my time with this game. I didn't think it aged well, I don't think it plays well, the gameplay is really not that fun. The stealth is fleshed out, but the combat is really too slow and too janky. The parkour that I kept hearing about it for years, that it's so amazing and it's the peak of the series and whatnot, really is janky. I didn't enjoy it as much, especially after playing through Syndicate, because Syndicate is just basically a more polished version of Unity in my opinion. So even after playing Syndicate, I felt like Unity even went down in my scale. I wouldn't go through this game again because it's just too janky and too unpolished. One of my top priorities when I'm playing games is just how polished they are, and in my humble opinion, Unity didn't get the time to get polished as it should be. If they had a little more time in development, made the map better, made the movements better, we all know the story of how Unity came to be. I don't blame anyone, I don't blame the developers, maybe the publishers I do blame, but other than that, it is what it is, I wouldn't play through this game again, even though I did enjoy my time with it when I first did. And right after it, last on this rank, is Assassin's Creed 3. It's a fun game, I still didn't finish all of it, I still have the DLC left, but just the intro, man, it's too long. The intro, I love Haytham, he's an interesting character, but I don't wanna play as him, I'm not here to play as him, and I don't feel like I'm progressing through the game as I'm playing as Haytham. I want to prove myself as Connor, get equipment, just progress through the game, be a badass assassin, and limiting me for 5 or 6 hours is just too much in my opinion. Even though it was interesting to get me into the story and I did like the twist 
that they are Templars, but still, it doesn't solve the problem. And then right after you finish playing as Hytham, you go into the tutorial thing with Connor, which even slows it down more. So it was kind of a pain, and I don't think replaying it would be any kind of fun going through all of that again. Now, before we move on to the next rank, I just want to say again, I don't think these games are bad. I did enjoy my time with them. I love the Assassin's Creed series as a whole. I played most of the games. I enjoy the games. I'm a fan. These games are good games, all of them, even Valhalla. It's just that they are games that I wouldn't want to play through again because I have the option of playing through games that I enjoy more. But don't think this too deep. I don't hate these games. I enjoy these games. And this ranking is all about just having some fun. So don't get too offended if your favorite game is in the last ranking. Now let's move on to the second row, which is games that I would replay, but maybe once or twice, not too much and I wouldn't want to go back to them too many times, maybe once in every 5 or 10 years. Starting off with the Ezio trilogy. We all love Ezio, we all know his story. The way I look at his three games is the same way I look at the Indiana Jones movies. They are some of my favorite movies, the original three, but I wouldn't want to go back to them every day. I just go back to them once in a while, go through all of the games, look at the little details, enjoy the story, get immersed and have some fun. Just classic fun. Same thing I do with the Ezio trilogy. I don't like to replay these games because they offer some kind of new game plus special reward thing. I like to replay them for the story, for experiencing Ezio's journey. But when it comes to replay as a whole, they don't offer too much, but they do offer a full and fleshed out story that you can go through and tick off all the Ubisoft boxes in the game. So it is a fun trilogy and I do enjoy going through them, but I don't do it too much. Next on the list is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The first Assassin's Creed that I played in my life, still one of my favorites, and it does offer a lot of value for your money and a lot to do in it. And it's a badass story, we all love Edward Kenway, he's the one of the best assassins in the series. But like I said, it doesn't offer the value that I seek to replay over and over again Skyrim style even though I do love the game and I would go back to it every couple of years once in a while to enjoy the pirate fantasy. But after you finished off all the missions, you got all the replay value you could from completing missions on these different scenarios that they force you through, the extra point things that you can get. If you do all of that and you get all the secrets, you battle all the big ships, you upgrade your base and the jackdaw, there's not much to do after that. And I don't blame the game, by the way. I don't blame the game for that. I just look at it as a linear process. I go through the thing, I check the lists, that's what I enjoy. It's a Ubisoft game. I get my fun out of it. But there's not much to do after that. I just close off the game, feel accomplished, and move on to the next one. Which is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yes, I am ranking Syndicate above Yonite when it comes to replayability. I know that I might get some death threats for this one, but I do enjoy Syndicate a lot more than Unity. I just love the vibe of London, I love the story, even though it's not too deep. I love the different dynamic between the twins, the Fry twins. I enjoy their combat more than I enjoy Unity's combat, for example. I enjoy a lot of stuff about Syndicate, and I just love how good the map looks, how smooth it feels. Like, we all play Ubisoft games to tick off the boxes and enjoy the story, right? This game has some of the most fleshed out progression systems that I've seen in the series, and I do enjoy most of them. Skill tree is fun to go through and upgrade, but it's not too intrusive. The map just looks amazing, and it feels good to tick it off and take out the, dark, the red areas from the Templars. It just feels satisfying to progress through it. It's well done and it's very polished. It has the polish that's lacking from Unity. If Unity had Syndicate's polish, I think it might be better than Syndicate. But just Syndicate runs and feels so much smoother and better to play. Both in normal combat and in stealth and just in roaming around the city. I know it gets a lot of flack for using the zip lines for the Fry Twins, but honestly, after playing like 10 Assassin's Creed games, I don't mind one of them having zip lines. It's fun. I enjoy it. I love this game and I go back to it every couple of years just because it's fun to enjoy the vibe. Now let's move on to the last game in this category, which happens to be Assassin's Creed Origins. The one that started the Hidden Ones, Bayek is one of my favorite assassins in the series. Egypt is amazing, still stands out today. 
I love the gameplay that they added to the series. I love the RPG style that they went with, getting inspired from Witcher 3. I do enjoy a lot of th stuff about this game, and I do go back to it more than I go back to it, for example, Ezio's games, because I enjoy how smooth it is, especially the stealth at night. It's just really well done, and I enjoy the colors and the visuals and all the unique locations you can find in Egypt. And Egypt as a whole is really an amazing map that I just love to explore. But Bayek's journey is long, and after you finish it and tick off all the boxes, like I said, after maybe you get the special Ubisoft store things from the little kid that sells you the store things, after that, I don't see much reason of going back to this game. Maybe in a couple of years, when you're missing the Egypt desert fantasy style that's when i go back to these games and it is an amazing game but i go back to it every once in a while and it's last on this row of rankings so if i'm counting right then we went through all of the games in the series except one i'll let you guess which one that is it has the most replay value in my humble opinion the one and only assassin's creed odyssey Yes, it is my favorite one in the series. I love Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know it's not a true Assassin's Creed game, as the hardcore fans like to say, but I do enjoy it, and I do honestly believe it offers the most replay value. Doesn't offer the best story, doesn't offer the best characters, doesn't offer the best world, it doesn't offer the best combat, but it does offer the best replay value and overall the best package in the Assassin's Creed series. In my opinion, I do enjoy this game more than anything else in the series, just going back to it feels rewarding. I'm a big sucker for Fallout games and Skyrim, and if you know anything about Bethesda's philosophy while developing those games, they like to put a lot of systems Systems, they develop systems that interact with each other. So that's how I see Odyssey working most of the time. Let's take an example. If you're going to a bandit camp, just think about how many things affect the world that you're going through right now. You're probably following a quest, so that's one thing. You could encounter a mercenary while you're on the way, that's another system. Meanwhile, you're also getting resources for upgrades for your ship, that's another system. You're also getting skill points through XP to upgrade your character, you're also working on figuring out how to do a best build for your character, which is also another system, and you're also in a different area of the world that's either affected by Athenians or Spartans, and you can think of different ways of dealing with each faction. There's so many system that, systems that work together when you're playing this game that it just makes it unique each time you go through. Yes, the story and the missions sometimes repeat and it's not that unique, but the systems in the game just work so well together. You know those moments in Skyrim back in the day when you go to a city and out of nowhere a dragon attacks and you make a whole story about it, how you fought the dragon, someone died in the battle and whatnot. This game has the same kind of moments. When I'm talking to an NPC on my, or on my way to talk to an NPC and I get attacked by a mercenary, who out of nowhere gets attacked by a lion, and then I have to fight through one of them to let the other one die, and then I get attacked by the Spartan general or something. There's just a lot of uniqueness in this game because there are so many systems that are working together. And that's just one thing that affects the replay value of this game. Another thing is just the sheer amount of content in this one. Just like in other Bethesda games, I mean, this is not a Bethesda game, but just like in Bethesda games in general, most of people who play those games are gonna go through the game, play whatever they see, probably the main story, and skip a lot of side missions. Same thing happened with me in Odyssey. I played through the main story, I played a lot of side missions, I leveled up, but I skipped a lot of stuff. And when I went back to replay the game, turns out there's a whole like mythical side for the game. There's DLCs on top of that, there's whole side missions that I skipped through and then they added more side missions through post-launch support and there's the whole system for the ship combat and upgrading your character and just end game stuff and the whole end game thing with freeing up different areas on the map that you decide who controls there's just so many things that you probably missed when you played through this game for the first time and it makes replaying it just 
so much more fun because there's always something that you missed the time before. And there's just a sheer amount of just a lot of content in this one. Even if you go through the game twice, you probably still missed out on a lot of content. So you can go through it again and probably still miss out on stuff. And that's why I enjoy this game so much because there's just so much to see. It all takes place in Greece, which by the way is one of the best settings in the series. I love the graphical look of it. It still looks stunning till today. I love the accents. I love everything about Greece and the map and the ships and the buildings and the people. And I just love Cassandra. By the way, Cassandra is also one of my favorite assassins in the series. So it's just fun to interact with, fun to see, talk with people, fun to just hear her talk, her inner thoughts. She's a chill, fun kind of character, which is my favorite kind of character. Which leads me to one of my main points of love for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and that's the whole vibe. True, it's an odyssey and it has a lot of blood and murder and killing and backstabbing, but it still has just a chill vibe that you can sit back and enjoy. I really do appreciate that because that's my favorite kind of game. You know, I'm not playing because I want to experience The Last of Us 2 and get depressed for the rest of my life and get preached to. I want to enjoy my time. That's what I'm here to play these games for. That's one of the reasons that I didn't like Unity as much, because I felt like it's too serious. Arno had some fun moments, but overall the game was just a little too serious for my taste. And it's also one of the reasons I liked Syndicate, because it's chill and it likes to have fun with its premise. And let's be honest, why do we play games if not to have fun? I understand the value of a good dramatic story. I'm not stupid, but... Honestly, if I'm gonna go back to a game to replay it over and over, I don't want it to be serious. I want to have fun with it. I know how the story turns out, you know? I don't want to go through the drama again. I just like to have fun. And this game offers that in full spades. It's just good in every kind of way. It's fun to interact with people. Most of the NPCs are funny, but not in the annoying way that Far Cry 6 has. It's just a fun game to replay and see the story through. Which, by the way, has a lot of different choice and consequence, which is also a big point of replayability. Your choices has actual consequences in the story of the game. It's not like other games that are coming out nowadays. The choices you make in the Assassin's Creed Odyssey genuinely have a big impact on your ending and on how NPCs treat you and on different NPCs in general. Which I didn't expect from Assassin's Creed, but hey, I welcome it with open arms. Now I could go into a very specific and detailed explanation of all the systems in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and why I love each one of them, but honestly that would just take up too much time. And this video is already long enough and editing it will take long enough. So maybe when I make a specific video about Assassin's Creed Odyssey, then I will go into detail. Let me know if you're interested in that, by the way. But for now, my most replayed Assassin's Creed is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And let me remind you once again, it doesn't mean that the games are bad. It doesn't mean that the games on the last ladder of the ranking are bad. I enjoy all the games in the series, and this is all based on replayability. It's not based on the characters, it's not based on the open world. It's not based on stuff like that. It's just purely how much fun it is to replay games. And I think in that regard, Assassin's Creed Odyssey takes number one and there's just no competition. It's not even close. But hey, if I know anything about the Assassin's Creed community, you probably disagree with me. You probably think another game is best and I'm open to hearing opinions. I'm just having fun here. I don't think that any of these games is bad and I'm happy to hear what other people think. Maybe you'll change my mind, maybe I'll change your mind, let me know down in the comments what game do you enjoy most, just don't be a dick about it, we all love the series, we all love to play all of these games, so let me know down in the comments. If you're interested in any more Assassin's Creed videos, there's one on your screen right now, check out the channel, it's kinda what I do, any like, subscribe, do the YouTube stuff, it's all appreciated, thank you for sticking around for so long, and as always, have a nice day.